a lot of people are scared of skin tones. But you... <laughs> <laughs> they don't be scared of skin tones. I'm just uh, saying, the people the painting I'm, them, it's yeah. a whole different thing altogether. But for painting skin tones, a lot of people are afraid of doing it. And you are going to show us today <laughs> some stuff. I, yeah, I'm going to take you through it. Like I, I chose this model to, and I'm going to do some skin tones based in the warmer area and the cooler area on the same model trying to create some contrast, but hopefully it shines a little bit of light on, on skin tones for everybody. You don't have to be so afraid of skin tones. All right, so like we said before, we're gonna get started with some skin tones on uh, Mr. Latheim Oakleaf. So uh, I have my progression mixed up here with some various P3 colors. Let's see. Main ones of note would be Rin Flesh, Midland Flesh, Cardic Flesh. You can see I have them laid out. I got the three of them right here. And then with a little Exile Blue thrown in. Some Scorn Red. And then uh, that was some white that just fell on the ground. Thank you. So I got some white on top and then uh, a little wash mix up for later, but I'll explain that. So. I'm going to start with our second brightest color, which is just the straight Rin Flesh. And you see we've got the Xenthial uh, base coat going on, so I'm just going to keep it nice and thin so that black and white foundation shows through. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the start of it, and this will be the, the basis of our flesh tone. I'm going to base coat this, and then we'll come on with the, uh, the next color. All right, and we're back. So we've got our, uh, our base coat laid down on the mini there, and we're going to start glazing in some shadows. So the next color down in, our, uh, in line would be Midland Flesh. Take it nice and watery, and I'm just going to take broad strokes on the model kind of not try to break it down into each individual detail I'm just kind of swiping over some areas and uh, I know that like the more light will be concentrated on spots like his upper chest here the bicep top of the forearm top of the head so I'm just kind of trying to outline all those all those more uh, highlighted areas so I'm doing that with some watery paint just glazing it right in there. Always remember to push the paint in the direction where you want the shadow to be. See how I'm pushing the paint down his arm instead of up because I want more light at the top of his arm. Yeah, so you can kind of see the, the gist of it here. Just getting a start on it, and I'm going to do that about two or three more times, and then we're going to come back with the next color down. So we have uh, two colors in play now. We've got the Rin Flesh base coat and then the, the Midland Flesh. So we're moving down the line to Cardic Flesh, slightly darker. You can see it on my palette there. And just like last time, we're going we're gonna to reinforce, like I was saying, I was taking uh, broad strokes and leaving the brighter parts showing. Not worrying too much about the details, doing watery coats so it's all kind of washy. So we're going to bring it down a little bit further now with the, the Cardic Flesh. I don't want to completely cover up what I did with the Midland Flesh, if that makes any sense. The Cardic Flesh is to now further, deeper accent what I was doing with the Midland Flesh. Yeah, now we're starting to get somewhere. And I'll get the bottom of his peck here. Lower portion of the face. Under that bicep. And then on the shoulder spot, it's it's uh it's facing downwards, so I've just been making it a lot more shadowed than the rest of the I'm imagining a shadow being cast off of the wolf pelt. Gotta use your imagination. Yeah, you can see you can see how that's uh, starting to work. So I'm gonna go ahead, 
do the uh, couple more coats of this and we'll come back. All right, so we're back. We're doing a little strip tutorial. It's kind of steamy in this studio, so here I am, my bikini top, fresh off of the Wisconsin February, looking like a dinner plate. So uh, I've got the, uh, the three colors going, Rin Flesh, Midland Fle Flesh, Cardic Flesh, and now I, uh, I have the blue mixed in and the red mixed in. And if you remember the last video, I was talking about this model being on the edge of the woods and kind of being in the middle of like sunset. So on one side of the model, I want all the uh, shadows to be accented with cold colors. And the other side, I want it to be accented with uh, warm colors. So on the model's right, stage right is going to be accented with the blue shadows and the other side will be with the, the red shadows. So this is Exile Blue mixed with Cardic Flesh. And just like before, we're gonna move it down. I'm gonna stick some under his ribs here. Remember to kind of keep it to one side Unless there's a part of his body that would be falling into extreme shadow, like he got this, uh, his arm here is kind of further back, right up next to the cape, underneath the sword. So I think it's safe to put a blue, more of a blue tone shadow in there to kind of drop it back. The whole emphasis is going to be on this kind of a big beam of light, highlighting the model's uh, chest and, and head here. It's good to highlight the faces and chest too, I guess. Put some blue right on top of his mitt, and uh, this time kind of being a little more careful, just kind of trying to accent where the natural shadows fell on the sculpt. Still washy, but not quite as, uh, as washy as before. You can see how that's coming together. Leaving that little ball on, on top of his wrist showing, pushing shadows right up underneath it so it's sticking out. Um, yeah. Dropping shadows in there. You kind of see how that's coming along on that side. Um, that'll be the other side of his face too and under his neck. Um, all right, I'm just gonna do a couple more coats of that and really get it saturated. We'll come back. I'm gonna do the red as well. And, uh, let me just throw some in there so you can get a look at it before I do multiple passes. So we're throwing the red in on the other side. I would say that the the rear area of his uh, rib cage here would fall into the extreme shadow category. So I'm gonna hit it with some some of that blue and cardic flesh mix. This is scorn red mixed with cardic flesh as well. <laughs> Backtrack a little bit. And we'll put red on the side of his face there. So you can kind of get a look here. You know, red shadows over here darker blue shadows over here, warm and dark, or warm and cold contrast. So we'll come back and I'll refine those a little bit more. All right, we're back. Take a look at that. You can see the uh, red shadows coming from his left, blue shadows coming from his right. I went ahead and added a little bit of the blue or the, the red tone on top of the, the, the shadows coming out of the blue. Just seemed to make more sense that way. But now we're gonna kind of we're gonna unify everything with a wash before we start doing some highlights. So the wash is composed of Vallejo black. We got some uh, FW ink here, burnt umber, and then flesh wash from Privateer Press. I mixed all three of those together. I've been messing with what putting washes and inks and paints together, and you can too. So. I'm gonna go ahead with uh, the wash of those three colors. And I'm gonna st start kind of pushing it into the crevices. So there's less, less of the wash on my brush once I get to the highlight areas. See, I'm kind of sweeping it down into the shadows there. Real heavy in his neck and under the chin. Not so much on the top of the head that I want to be really bright. Really guiding that wash around. 
not just slapping it on there. And then after this wash is dry, I'm going to do another wash. And just like I was painting, kind of redefine that uh, those circular highlighted areas I was talking about. I get to make sure that cleavage is defined. All right. So I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to do another pass with the wash, and we can get on to some highlights. I did a, so last segment I put the wash down, and then I kind of redefined what, the, what I was doing with the second wash off camera. Now it's time to start highlighting. So I'm going to move back up to that uh, Midland Flesh, and just start picking out the, the raised areas. So you just got to kind of keep your light source in mind to determine what the raised areas are exactly and where the light would be catching. But yeah, every one of his rippling muscles will be catching a little bit of light, so you better get each one. Kind of see it coming along in his abdomen there, at the top of his bicep, kind of keeping it the highlight to the top and forward. Get a little dot on his tricep right next to that hard shadow below his shoulder. Top of the forearm there, and this little ball that sticks out of his wrist. And do the face, so he's starting to get there. I'm gonna do uh, probably two more rounds of this on him, then we'll come back with the brightest color. All right, so we just finished with our round of highlights with Rin Flesh, and now we're moving up and up to the uh, mixture of Vallejo White with the Rin Flesh. I'm gonna do some final highlights on the skin tone. Um, if you notice, I did a little freehand of that vein down his arm. There's a little one underneath here, top of the hand. It's always a nice little touch. And tell people to check out your super stylish free hands on your mini. I painted veins on his ripped arms. He's torqued, ready for action. So I moved down to a smaller brush here too. And I'm just doing very small blends. Try not to cover up any of the progressions from before. Let's see everything's just kind of coming to a brightened point on each of these muscles. Yep, get his brows and his nose under the eyes, jowls, little top of the chin very lightly. And then uh, wherever his vein here is rippling over his muscles, I'm going to add a little highlight where the, the muscle highlight would carry through. Yeah, just like that. So you can kind of you can see it coming along. Hopefully you guys get the drift. We're trying to keep these short, so I'm just gonna snip it again and finish these highlights, and then I'll show you guys what I came up with and explain what I plan to do in the future. All right, everybody, we are done with our skin tone. There's how he's looking, mighty fine. Um, we're gonna do more videos on this model, so hopefully this kind of gives you some ideas for doing a light skin tone, or a warm skin tone, or a cold skin tone, like I've done, I've done both on this model. And I mean, if you really want to enhance it, you could add a little yellow to the highlights. I don't think I'm quite done with this miniature yet, but I want to paint everything else and maybe add some more overarching kind of blue swabs here and there. But I just want to do a video on skin tones and show you guys kind of how I was operating around there and pull some foreign colors in. So 
Hopefully you learned something about skin tone. And uh, thanks to Adam and everybody, the Tabletop Minions crew and all that. So we'll see you around.